This year we got to attend the art festival on the sidewalk in Placencia. Really a cool thing. This is one of the side streets, you don't have to worry. The thing I like about the sidewalk is there are long-time residents like this gentleman making the family earnings from conch, jewelry of all kinds. Really beautiful. The sidewalk is now concrete. It used to be all boardwalk. Stalls get set up before the day gets hot. Local vendors and crafts. This lady, Laura Godfrey, we know her. One of the local artists. She does some beautiful art. All kinds of woven things. Didn't take too long for the sidewalk to fill out in the heat of the day. One of Cassidy's friends. One of the local artists who is now on the Belican bottles. Sorry, Kelvin, we had a technical issue uh, when we were shooting you. Oh, yeah? I have to do it again the next time we're down. Sorry, bud. His artwork is truly gorgeous, very powerful colors and themes. These next guys were working hard. ID7. Well, our company name is ID7. We're a youth organization. We sponsor youths to go to different schools, you know, different organizations, different camps. Um, this year we're trying to sponsor kids to go to uh, college. So Stone carvings. All kinds. You could watch as they were actually being finished. <laughs> Lioness Liz and Cassidy with Lola Delgado's art in the same fight. Hello from Iskakao! I think the next time down we're going to have to take a tour of this place, the Iskakao Cacao Farm. All kinds of entertainment, electronic and otherwise. And then there's Pelican. I have to admit that I did bring two of their bottles home. Bring Pelican there, only in the Like in Pelican, barbs cropping. There were barbecues everywhere. More artists, crafters. This young man was working out a totally recycled art. Saga Humane Society was here, showing us who the real most dangerous animal is. That's jaguar. There's crocodile, monkey, pelican. Yes. The sidewalk is open for business, not just for festivals, but every day of the year there are vendors that live here, work here. The sidewalk is very long, longer than you expect. <laughs> Everybody is friendly. It's a hot day and you got to keep your fluids up. The Tipsy Tuna is where I headed for a quick beer and some nachos. I'll be back at it in a moment. You can trust me. So many vendors, so many things to see. It's really quite amazing. Marvin, we've known him for years. Lioness Liz, being herself. <laughs> gentleman's art was really quite interesting. You had to understand what was going on in the country and his message. Most of the residential kids were bored. If you want to be in one of my videos, you have to do something that makes you stand out, like these people. If you see yourself, leave a comment, please. Everybody told me that this lady's cakes were the best. 
This gentleman carved solid mahogany doors. My god, they were heavy. Cassidy and his buds drinking seaweed juice. At least that's what they told me it My was. favorite ladies! He was always busy when I went by, so I didn't want to bother him, but I wanted to talk to him. As I say, there are long-time residents band. here. Hello from Belize. <laughs> My personal favorite band of the day were these guys. As the day went on, it definitely got more crowded, but that's good, and more people were supporting the arts. Old Master, fine rum was there. The gentleman said if I went to the parking lot, I'd get to watch their new steer. <laughs> Always liked steer riding. Well, watching it anyway. The DJ gave me a look. This time when we went by, his booth was empty and I went in and had a look and a chat with him. I asked if I could video his art, and he said yes. I said his messages were a little hidden to tourists, but uh, I found them very interesting. Some spoke of oppression, some spoke of village life and how it was passing, and then there were darker and deeper messages in some of his art. The one that got me was that one there, Dead End UDP Street Stop. And to know the political uh, situation, to know why. I asked how many of the tourists understood half of his work. He said very few. Another one of the residence gift stores that is always on the sidewalk. Emmett Young started drums, not guns, to help the youth. It also kept their heritage alive. This one had some definite skill he had a style all of his own. Definitely the biggest showman in the group, I think. There was no sweat on his brow, even if he did wipe it off. That's homemade bitters. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure from the roots of PG rainforest. Bitters. This will mm -hmm. put you right. Bitters. Yeah. <laughs> One last wander through the art. Before we head home, get some fluids in us. We attended both days of the art festival. It was fun. A lot of good times. Not quite as good as this guy. That old man's got a rhythm in his bones, doesn't he? Thanks to everybody who appeared in this video. We did donate generously to all of the bands that you saw. And we did help as many of the artisans as we possibly could. Share, subscribe, thanks for watching, come back often.